Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixelmon Nuzlocke. Last time we left off we were apricorn hunting, mostly. What was that thing? Where did it go? Oh my god, it's a Pelipper! So I've updated to 4.2.5, or version 4.2.5 of uh, Pixelmon, which I guess has added a whole ton more Pixelmon. Uh, hopefully a whole ton. I'm at least seeing a Pelipper, which means hopefully Wingull is in here, because I love Wingull. That was my first flyer in uh, Emerald version. And I thought a combination water type was a fantastic addition. Uh, it, was, it was the first generation, I think, to introduce an early flyer that was dual tight. Uh, or not that was dual type, but that wasn't normal flying. It was, it had a different type coverage, uh, which was water. Um, so we got the Magikarp in the Flower Forest. Is that how that worked? Okay, that's fine. Just reading my waypoints, trying to figure out where I can and can't go without, you know, ruining a, a location for myself. And these are the extreme hills in which I caught my Fampy, right? Yeah, it, it is. Okay. So, in that case, I don't mind having to go around. So, we're still going to be training our uh, Magikarp against other Magikarp. Hopefully, it'll hit level 15 soon, and then it can fight its own battles. Uh, so... Uh, I haven't done any off-camera work uh, since the last episode, mainly because I've had a lot more to do via... Uh, I've had a lot more stuff to do because of... or in... oh my god. I have a lot more off-camera work to do in both FTB and uh, TFC lately, so... It's kind of been limiting my ability to do off-camera stuff in other series, such as this. Which, while unfortunate, you know, priorities have to be made. Uh, so, that's the case. Uh, I pri The case is that I prioritized uh, those series ahead of this one. Because I feel like those ones are a lot more grindy than this. Um, I can always choose to do something slightly different in this series, like maybe today I'll build something, maybe today I'll craft something, maybe today I'll do a little bit of on-camera grinding, who knows. Uh, but with the other stuff it's always like, okay, well now I just need to pump out like 45 ingots of red steel. <laughs> Which no, I have not done. Oh, hold on. That's a new biome. Can't go over there. Can't go over there. Not unless I want to catch something new. Or wait, no, was that the... That was the forest we started in. Okay, so I can get those. Never mind. Uh, large biomes makes it so that, uh, you know... Things aren't... Easy to... What is that? Oh, is that a boss Burmy or just a normal Burmy? It's just a normal Burmy. I should have... <laughs> I was looking at the color of the Pokemon instead of looking at the color of its name to determine if it was a boss. If, uh, if you can't tell by the color of its body, you can easily tell by the color of its name. Alright, well... We've gotten a few Apricorns. Maybe I'll start heading back home before we get jumped by something. In, these, in the tight corners of a forest. Whew, okay, that's a steep jump. I love the music for this mod. Can I just say that? I know I've probably said it before. I think I said it in my server series. Uh, or on the Pocket Pixel server series. Not my server. Uh, it was my series, but it was not my server. Uh, <laughs> I think I, So I think I've talked about it, but I really do love the music in this. That's a normal for forest biome. It is 
technically separated by that forest by the flower forest. So, ooh, a Tyranitar. Look at him. Just look at him. Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Back in silver version, I definitely like power leveled a, a, a Larvitar all the way up to uh, all the way up to Tyranitar via the Pokemon League. I thought it was so cool. Then it evolved into Pupitar, and I was like, "Oh man, that sucks." This is, was before the times where you could just look up what something turned into at some point, um, or at least I didn't know I how to do that. So I was like, "Oh, Pupitar kind of sucks." So I just kept leveling it up uh, by putting it up in front in the Pokemon League, and then switching it out, and then eventually. It got to 55 and evolved into Tyranitar, and it was amazing. Uh, one does a little hurt. Alrighty. So, did we get anything up to 9? We did. We got red ones up to 9. And I did say 9, right? I think I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, okay. So let's go one, two, three. Yes, that's the same row. It's suffocating in my apricorns. That's what you get. There you go. Cool. I don't know why I... You know what? Next one I'm just going to put up the middle of these two. And I did not get any, anything else up to nine. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. I've got some string, but I definitely don't have nearly enough to make myself a bed. It would be a good idea to find a Mareep, if at all possible. We'd probably have to wait till the day. But if I can find a low-level Mareep, I think I can send Tumbelina out... She's a ground type, right? Yes, she is a ground type. I wasn't sure if they started out as normal and then moved to ground when they evolved. So, but since she is a ground type, I should be able to send her out against a low level Mareep. I think the only offensive ability they know at low level levels is Thundershock. Although they might know Tackle. Hmm. Great, a sentry with good special attack. That's going to be helpful. Um, oof. yeah, I don't know what to do. I would like to make a bed. The ability to sleep away the night and heal on the fly would be nice. I mean, I couldn't, I can't heal whenever I want with a bed, but I can heal any night, any nights. So. If things are going badly, I can just block myself in until nightfall, sleep away, and then we'd be good. Sell so, Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Friend Balls. And you sell what again? Mail. Right. What could I sell? A Quaylot Berry? I can't remember what a Quaylot Berry does. I'll have to look that up. There's a Litwick around here somewhere. So, so far we've seen one new Pokemon, Pelipper. Um, I think Regigigas is in here, considering the thumbnail for this update was the uh, development crew standing in front of a uh, Regigigas in-game. Well, they're Minecraft avatars anyway. Uh, I should probably do something. You know what? Let's go do something. I'm gonna go check the lake for Magikarp. I think I still will clear out this forest. I think there's a legendary that spawns in just normal forest. So if I level the thing and a, a legendary spawns, it'll be easier to find one. Alright, let's grab this guy here. 
I know we just put down our red ones, but that's okay. All right, Magikarps. There's a couple. That one's level 14. Cool, we can send... Where'd it go? There it is. Kind of hard to keep track of stuff during the night. That one's level 16, so we'll avoid him. I believe that's our level 14. There he is. Missed. There we go. Alright, let's switch to... Let's switch to Flutter. Let's try to get a... Um... Let's try to get him up to Butterfree. Man, Metapod looks so much better now than it used to. This is gonna be a while. <laughs> Just gotta take it slow. We got this. I mean, the magic card really can't do anything about it. Okay, that gives us the fight. Flutter did not level up, so that sucks. Let's see. It's a good thing fish can't be hostile. Level 16, level 9. Meh. Level 18 is a little high. It's almost daybreak. Uh, level 10 is not bad, I guess. Alright, we'll send out Flutter. Oh man, he barely got any experience from that last Magikarp. So this one's not going to help very much, but oh well. Could be worse. So, after this batch of recordings, which is just going to be two episodes, so this one and the next one, uh, I'll do a little bit of off-camera grinding, uh, for sure, absolutely. Uh, at least to the point where Magikarp can tackle on its own, so that we don't have to... Oh, thanks mail. Cool. So I can sell that. Get some money. Maybe grab ourselves some more Great Balls at some point. It's a level 13 Sawaddle. Uh, Alright, let's hit up the... Let's hit up the planes, see if I can't find myself a Mary Ape to fight. If I can, that'll be great. I wonder if they've added Ampharos in yet. If so, Mary Ape is definitely on my catch list. There's a Star Raptor. That's a pretty big Starly. Alright, uh, I'm going to stick mostly to the river, see if we can't find any decent leveled Magikarp. I'm going to avoid this Arbok like the Plague, though. Plague. Um, but yeah, our primor primary goal here is to find some Magikarp to level off of and uh, some Mareep so we can get a bad going. Okay, I hear another Arbok. So I kind of want to run away, <laughs> just a little bit. There's an Ekans, gonna avoid him too. Mill tanks are okay. I could get some leather, but mill tanks are really tough, especially when they are a little bit higher level. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any May Reap. I wonder if rain effect spawns as well. It might. Uh, is this a forest we've been to? No, this is a whole new forest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scan it from the from the border, and if I see an EV, we're going for it without a question. But uh, otherwise, we're keeping our distance here. Okay, we've got enough yellow ones to plant now. 
going to avoid that electrode. Oh. I thought I was just about to... Oh, there's a level... There's a level 10 Marie. That's a little bit scary. Level 8 Plusle there. Sneaking up on me. I think I can snag this without entering the forest. Sure enough. Okay, we're only two black ones away from being able to plant them. Well, I can plant them right now and then just repopulate off of the ones that I plant, but meh. There's a Swablu. A Swablu would be a cool catch, too. A dragon flying wouldn't be too bad. So this beach biome is attached to that ocean. So I'm not going to declare this beach. I might. Uh, to declare it, I'll jump into the ocean. But until then... Uh, oh my god, is that a wingo? That looks like a wingo. I might claim this ocean right now. If I could get a wingo, I would absolutely get a wingo. Pelipper may look a little bit silly, but... I mean, that's really good type coverage. That is a wingo. <sighs> Do I gamble? Because if I go out there, I have to declare this biome. And if I do that, I have to catch something. And there's no guarantee that Wingle is in my level range. I only have normal Pokeballs on me. No. You know what? I'm going to pass it up. I'm going to pass it up. As much as I want one, uh, I'm, not mil I'm not willing to make that gang gamble. Blech. Words. Lips, tongue, function, please, in symmetry. Not symmetry. Uh, maybe this is why they're not cooperating. Work in... Synchronicity? <laughs> is that the word I'm... No, that's not the word I'm looking for. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. So let's just move on. Uh... So yeah, since beaches and rivers count towards the biome that they are attached to, uh, they're not declared until you step to the biome that they're attached to. Um, so. The beach will not be declared until I step into the ocean. And this river will not be declared until I step into a biome and say that I am catching from the river. So I could go over there. I could go over there and try to catch one, although there's no guarantee that this forest isn't linked to the other one. So it might be in my best interest to, or it would be in my best interest to trace around here, to trace this taiga biome before trying to declare this one. Because if I catch something and then I find out they're linked, whatever I caught is released instantaneously. No matter how much, no matter how much I've trained it and developed it, the minute I find out these two, those two are linked, I'd have to get rid of it. So, for the most part, I intend on tracing uh, biome limits before declaring something. So I do have Mary here, and that that level nine one would be plausible. The f Where did the level 9 one go? Seriously, it was the bigger one. How did I lose it? But kept eyes on the smaller one. Really? Where is the other Mareep? How far did it go? Level 5 mill tanks. There's a level 10 Pidgey. <laughs> did it die? <laughs> did it jump into the lava and then poof? Maybe it did. Level 5 Snubble. Um, it's not in here. I have no idea where that level 9 Mary went. <sighs> oh well. 
Uh, I think really what my priority should be right now is power leveling. So let's go back into the water and see if I can't get uh, our Magikarp up to level 15. It needs 440... 448 XP. So... What are you fighting? Oh, you were suffocating. That's fair. Level 10, level... Okay, we'll fight the level 10. Why not? And you know what? Let's send out our Charmander. Come on, Flizzard, you got this. All right, we have those Apricorns we can place. All right, just a little bit more. And... Got it. And that gave you a whole lot more experience than it gave our... What? How much experience do you need to level up? 169? How much does Flizzard need? 78. Oh. Actually, you're getting really close, so I should have been leveling you up. There. Oh, well. If you find a level 14, you're definitely going in. Uh, oh, wow. Look at all the Magikarp. Those two are gigantic. Imagine the size of the Gyaradoses you could get off those guys. Okay, that one's level 11. I'll take that. Uh, okay, Flutter, you're in. Because why not? Well done, Metapod. Okay, for a second there, I thought that Magikarp was trying to fight me. I was like, seriously? You can get attacked in the water? That's terrifying. Boop. Oh, there's a level 13 Magikarp. Perfect. Okay, Flutter. You're up. Okay, this should get Flutter up to level 8. No question about it. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. And then I think next episode we'll do a little bit more building stuff. Uh, and then I'll save the grinding for off-camera work. Because doing this right now, I realize that phew, not the most I engrossing thing. And uh, that is absolutely fine. I don't have to do it on camera. So that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff. As always, if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. Helps me out a ton. And I always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.